Gary, with such a high standing in the game, with success at Spurs, Barcelona, England, etc., did you fear the risk of failure at Borough could tarnish your reputation? No, people will, will, will think what they think. If they want it tarnished, it will be tarnished, and if they don't want to, they won't. Um, and only when certain things happen to you, it, you feel it's tarnished. Um, I know, I mean, I see sometimes people write my CV and, and you think to yourself, well, they obviously don't want to put the whole thing in because it doesn't suit them. But all, all I would say, I've never turned away from anything for the sake of losing, otherwise you'd never do anything. It, was, it wasn't it was a case of being frightened of failing, it was a case of once you think all the things through, once you know a bit about the situation, once you've seen the videos, once you um, know what the club's trying to achieve, you then make a decision and then you go full pelt. One thing only in your mind is every day, every hour, most likely even if you're at home, you're still thinking about the job, you're thinking how you can improve it, you're, you know, you're questioning yourself, questioning everything. Having achieved your goal here, how does that rate on your CV? This very highly. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled for everybody at the club and around the club. A lot of people doubted the, uh, the way the partnership with Brian Robson would work out. Did it turn out the way you expected? I never had any doubt about that. I mean, we've worked together before, um, and uh, I was the manager and he was the coach. We just reversed the roles, that's all. <laughs> and it's, and he's, a, he's, a, he's a great guy, Brian, and he's, a, he's, he's had a tough time. I mean, you don't have six years at any football club without having tough times, nobody. Uh, I mean, Alec Ferguson had tough times when he started for a long while. You know, and Brian's still a young guy. We don't know what's ahead for him yet. It looks like you've enjoyed your, your time here at Middlesbrough. Yeah, I have. It's been really lovely. And I do appreciate and I thank everybody for receiving me in the way they have. It was very important because if you start doing things that is maybe slightly different to what they've done before, maybe a lot different, and you want them to believe in what you're doing, you always need some success with that. And then they think, well, yeah, you know, this, this could be all right for us. And if you don't, it's that much harder. And we needed immediate results. If we'd have gone three or four games without a result, I think it may have been too late. You change things around without changing all the personnel. What is it that makes the Venable style of coaching so effective? Oh, I think it's, it's, it's you know, people ask me that, and it's, it's about a lot of people all pulling in the same direction. Because... All people, I think, but I mean, I've been a footballer. Footballers, you know, we sometimes look for excuses. We've got to accept that. And so for if that's the case, and, and, and we all did it, you've got to remove those. You've got to remove the excuses and say, well, now, what about you? You know, what are you going to do? Like, there's nothing, you know, it's a nice day now, and the pitch is nice, and it's not bumpy, and, you know, now it's up to you. Come on, let's play. So. So that's important, but everyone really has pulled in the, in, in the right direction and have had a great desire to succeed. In the final countdown, you got some outstanding away results at uh, Newcastle, Arsenal, Leicester. Why do you think you got your best results away from the Riverside? Well, you know, I, I, I've praised the supporters and that wasn't... You know, people then say, oh, well, what you're saying is the own support is not very good. And that's not the case. The, the case was they were... Unbelievable. I mean, I remember going to Newcastle and I said, you won't hear them because they're right up in somewhere other. And right from the beginning, I mean, it was just amazing. When you do leave Middlesbrough, how do you want to be remembered at the club? Teesside Tell. <laughs>